my name is Alyssa and I'm drawing all kinds of Animal Crossing villagers. In fact, I'm drawing all of them A to Z, which I'm sure you know by now, but this is the K installment of my Animal Crossing A to Z sketch series. This is take two of this video because the first take, the camera was like up here. It looked like, you know, when, pe when old people take Facebook photos and all you can see is like from here up. Very bad very bad so I need a tripod at some point I have the stupid claw thing that's holding my phone up I'm working with what I got here folks so anyway take two of this I had to show off this crazy sweater because as promised in the last two videos my sweaters were gonna get increasingly bizarre this is the piece de resistance it looks like Pee Wee's Playhouse on a sweater it's got like numbers on it what does this mean it's like cryptic I'm wearing this for Thanksgiving this is my Thanksgiving attire folks <laughs> I love crazy wacky colors and shapes like this. I love squiggly stuff. I love teal and purple. I love the fact that there's stuff popping out of it like three dimensionally and it's not some like crappy screen print. It's made with love. It's made with wackiness and a sense of joy and I love it so much. Anyway, with my wacky sweater show off out of the way, uh, I don't really have anything else new to say because I'm filming this at the same time as the previous two videos. So let's just get right into the sketches. So starting the K-Villagers is Kabuki. Now for this one, I wanted the pose to be kind of dramatic and interesting, like the reference here. So I had to uh, ask my boyfriend for help. I try not to lean on him too much when I'm doing these Animal Crossing things because I do want them to be very much my work and my style. Um, but I do have him help me from time to time and that's where the blue lines come in here. It's hard not to ask him to do everything because he knows literally 10 million times more about everything art related than I do. You should check him out. I'll put a link on the video and a link in the description to his work. Um, but I, I do want them to be my work overall. So I try not to lean too much on like, hey, fix this for me. But um, sometimes it just needs to happen. Like sometimes it just needs somebody else's input. So it definitely did in Kabuki's case. Now Cat, I like I liked the pose that was in the reference. And like I think I mentioned in the last video, I'm recording all these back to back. So I forget what I said where. But um, I, I make sure I try not to have too many poses that are, that are the same. Um, right up next to each other so I figure well there there's been enough villagers that haven't had their arms crossed so I can do an arms crossing villager for this pose and it worked because it was what was in the reference and it kind of matched the character in their overall appearance so I was happy I got to use that pose now uh, Keaton the the eagles are really fun to draw I really love the silhouette of their heads when they're in profile uh, the the hard part is their heads only really look kind of dramatic and graphic and bold in profile. I might have to try experimenting with having one of them look head on or something and maybe that would look really silly to just have the the whole face is the beak and then just the eyes on the sides or whatever but um, I did stick to the head and profile view for that one but I do think the pose is more interesting than some of the other eagles I've done. Now Ken, I stuck to the reference pose for him but I think the reference pose was cool so I'm not too mad about copying the reference pose for that and I do give them all my own little spin even if they are like reference directly from the picture from the fan wiki I'm using on the side. At least I make them a little bit different. Ketchup I love. Um, ketchup I used to have in my pocket camp uh, camp when I played that and now I don't play that because they have subscription models and it's just a total cash grab more so than it ever was so I don't play it anymore but when I did I definitely had ketchup in my camp a lot along with all the other super brightly colored characters. I love primary colors and stuff so any really garishly colored villager or like silly food villager like ketchup, definitely I had in my pocket camp at one point or another. Kevin, I went with because he's a jock, so I was like, have I done this already with a jock villager? No, where they have like their hands in their pockets and they're like the cool jock kid with like the school varsity jacket or whatever. I thought that'd be a fun pose to do for him, especially because he has such like an innocent face with the little freckles. He just looks super cute to me. Kid Cat I love. I wanted to do a dynamic pose for him too because his pose and his reference is also very like he's punching or I didn't want him to look like he was like saluting or high-fiving or whatever so I kept messing with the pose until I got it right. Yeah I had a lot of variations of this one just to try to get... I didn't want it to look too karate or whatever but I think I ended up settling on this one. It does kind of look like a karate chop, but it's more or less what the reference pose is. I was trying to do other things but it looked like he was either saluting or asking for a high five and it just wasn't the right vibe so I was like you know what maybe I will just imitate what the reference is doing here and kind of push that leg out a little more and make it a little like I don't know action-packed even though these are all very you know cutesy wootsy I want some of them to be a little more dynamic and action-packed. Now kids pose I don't know if it's what was supposed to be going on in the little reference picture they have here on the wiki that I'm looking at but um I did I did want him to look like he was kind of you know thinking or philosophizing about something like hmm because especially his personality type in New Leaf being uh, smug. Um, though it, it seems like his personality switched from lazy to smug in between the games. So I like that he's got these half-lidded eyes. Like 
He wants to lecture you about stuff, but he's not really going to put a whole lot of energy into it. He's like a smug, lazy hybrid, which I think is funny. I like the idea of personality hybrids. I wish they would implement that, where it's like a character is half lazy, half smug, and their dialogue has different lines that reflect that hybrid. It might add some variety to the personalities without doing a whole lot more to the to the dialogue. You could make the dialogue more interesting just by altering a few lines to be these like hybrid personalities. Anyway, Kiki's really cute, and um, one of my cousins, her nickname is Kiki. That's not her real name, but that's what um, that's what all her like the little kids in our family call her Kiki. So, <laughs> well, not little kid. They're not little kids anymore. Like my cousin's like 16 now. He's not a little kid anymore. That's weird. I'm old. Anyway, so uh, moving on. So Kit is really cute, and I think he was another one that um, was only like in Animal Forest E+, or you know the Japan only or GameCube only, because his model is so old looking. Uh, I would assume he was in you know, a beta test or something like that, but I wanted him to be really short and squat and cute and fluffy. He almost looks kind of like a more innocent, like, baby version of, like, Conker from Conker's Bed Fur Day. <laughs> That's what he reminds me of anyway, is like a little baby Conker, like the innocent G-rated Nintendo version of Conker. Uh, and Kit, I've mentioned this before the last time I did a kangaroo, but I love doing the kangaroos because it's like a two-for-one where you get to, like, show the personality in the little baby in the pouch too. And it's interesting, I don't think they ever give any of the babies in the pouches any names, they're just kind of chilling out there. But I wonder if somebody had thought about like naming the babies in the pouches or if there's any dialogue that makes mention of any of the names of the kangaroo babies. If anybody knows that, let me know. But yeah, I love drawing the kangaroos because you get to kind of think about how would the baby be acting too. I can't remember which kangaroo it was, but I had one where the baby was looking up at the mom and I, I really like that pose, but now I can't abuse it too much because it's like, I already did it but there's probably 30 or 40 more kangaroos to do, so I have to think of some more inventive things to play off of um, mom and baby kangaroo interactions. Klaus is interesting. I don't think I'd seen him before, which is funny because I played New Leaf the most of any of the Animal Crossing games, so I feel like I would know all the New Leaf villagers, but I definitely don't. Um, but it was fun to draw this, like, you know, Greek warrior or whatever he's supposed to have going on with his little outfit. And I love that he has little sandals, too. I think it's fun when the whole outfit actually matches and has, like, something to say about the character's personality type, you know? Because some of these default outfits just... I don't know what they were thinking. They just put a random shirt on and called it called it a day. But I like when they're actually themed and their their appearance actually reflects their personality a little bit. Like Knox here, he's like this little knight and he's got like a matching knight's tabard or whatever they call it. You know, the the little thing with the insignia on it on the shirt. I think it looks really cool. It's all put together. He's a cool, strong knight character ready to defend your honor, you know. He looks like he's about to do something. That's that's a good character design, as you can imagine them doing specific things that mimic how they look. Some of them are just like a bear with a green shirt. <laughs> like Cody here, for example, he's just a blue bear with a striped shirt, but his personality is Jack, so I, I kind of made him look a little smug and like gave him kind of a, a stronger pose with his legs or whatever. Like He looks like he knows what he's talking about, kind of confident, you know? I don't know. So those are harder to put personality into because there's not a whole lot to work with in terms of their character design, so you have to kind of inject your own personality when you're drawing. Now, uh, Koharu here, another kangaroo where I have the baby interacting with the mom, looking up at mom. I don't think it's as strong of a pose as the other one I did where it's a profile view with the baby looking up at the mom, almost in like a like nurturing way. This is almost like they're having fun and playing together, so it's a little bit different than my other pose. And then last but not least, we have Kyle, and I know a couple of Kyles in real life, so this is funny to do an animal named Kyle. And uh, uh, the Kyles I know in real life, while they all all of them drink Monster, uh, none of them have punched holes in drywall as far as I know, so that part of the meme is not true. <laughs> but uh, there's uh, a couple of cool Kyles in my life, so it's cool to draw a wolf Kyle as well. And of course, I'll make him the thumbnail for this video too. And with that, that wraps up all of the K-Name villagers. And as usual, you'll see me put down the flat colors here to make sure that everybody looks, well, doesn't look good, but has a color palette I can use for the next portion of the artwork where I flatten it all out and make it nice and smooth and then bring it into Procreate and make the nice art. So at this stage, it doesn't matter if the colors are messy, but you've heard the whole spiel by now, unless you're tuning into an alphabetical series a third of the way into the alphabet, which I I'm not going to judge you, but <laughs> you should know the drill by now. So that's it for the K-Name villagers. Who are your favorites? My favorites are the two that remind me of people in real life, so Kiki and Kyle are names of people I kind of know, so I am biased towards them, I guess. Are there any villagers like that that have like names of people that you know in real life that you kind of have like a fond feeling towards? Or on the other end of the spectrum, is there a name of someone you hate and you always like make pitfalls for them to fall in? That would be kind of hilarious. <laughs> Let me know your stories of Animal Crossing characters whose names share the names of 
people in your real life. I'd kind of like to hear stories about that. And if you're shopping for a perfect Christmas gift for the Animal Crossing fan in your life, look no further than the Redbubble star in the description below. I have prints, stickers, tote bags, and more of 100 plus Animal Crossing villagers and Isabel here. There's all kinds of stuff there. And by this time next year, I'll have every single villager there. But this year I have 100 plus. So that's a pretty good start. Be sure to check it out. I'm sure you'll find at least one villager that you know and love in my store. Let's see, I did the intro. I did the speed paint part. I plugged my own merch. All I have to do is say thank you for watching. And so thank you guys for watching. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, which YouTube Analytics says that like 77% of the people watching this video are not subscribed, what is wrong with you? Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.